Good morning. How's everyone doing? So let's start with a Bitcoin recap. This is a weekly chart of Bitcoin. If we take our FIB retrace levels from way back in the start of 2015, end of 2014, um, we've been bouncing from the FIB retrace levels all the way down. It's very messy, mostly because it's Bitcoin, but they work pretty well. They've been pretty good as support. And then when we've got underneath them, you can see with this 50 fib, they've been resistance. And that's how these fib levels should work. Sometimes you go straight through the through a level that you're expecting to hold, and then you see it be resistance or support on the other side. And that's what we're seeing a bit here with this 786 fib level around 4300 some exchanges other exchanges it's closer to 4400 but 4300 4400 was where i was expecting um this to find support and rally and in fact we had a bullish gartley pattern at this 786 fib level that we've broken underneath so you can see last week we had a very narrow range consolidation week underneath this level. And whilst we hold underneath it, we are still heading lower. That's the bottom line with Bitcoin. This FIB level, this 4,300, 4,400 level is major resistance. So, so far on the daily, we're consolidating sideways. We've had a pretty nice rally. Now we've had a pullback, it looks like, and we'll go to a lower time frame. It looks like we made an ABC correction, an equal measured move lower that normally that would normally set up another swing higher. So if we drop down to a four hour here and we take a look at where we are, this is what I mean. These are high Kadashi candles. We've made an equal measured move lower to the tick actually. So a little bit of a bull flag look or a parallel channel uh, is how we're looking here in Bitcoin. And so I think we're setting up another swing higher. In other words, what we've done is ABC up, ABC down for a bigger B leg. And now we're going to see one more swing higher. So if we measure from the lows to the highs and see where that could take us, it gives us two levels. First off, if our final swing higher is 61.8 of the first swing, which is a very common relationship, we would just retest this. Uh, 4,300, 4,400 level and roll over again. If we make an equal measured move here, we'll see 4,700 for an equal measured move to the upside. And then we see what happens there. Either we'll roll over and turn lower again or we'll continue higher. I would say that there, if we get up back and if we can recover this 4,300 level, then that would be quite an interesting pattern. And I would be then looking on this pullback to see if it was support. And if it did, then we could be building up a bigger swing and, and, and looking for higher prices. So that's how I'm seeing it unfolding. For now, yes, it looks really lovely and bullish this morning. Everything looks good. We can, um, you know, we've got a really nice hourly buy set up here. If we get above these hourly moving averages um, and top of the channel, but 4,330 Coinbase prices are where we're looking. If we take a look at one more exchange, so let's look at it against Tether, for example, at Binance, because that's where the most variation of prices are. And the resistance Tether at Binance is 4,424. But we've got the same bullish pattern. You can see ABC equal measured move lower here in Bitcoin and uh, looking really good. Reversal from 3,800, same kind of channel look. But so if we if we measure our targets uh, for Binance against Tether, we'll measure it like this, lows to highs. And if we make a, if we go beyond this level and if we make a new high, 4578 is the equal measured move and then we'll see if we can hold that and pull back and then if we can hold this level again as support 4400 at binance then we do have a chance of some higher prices and further upside but um, make no doubt about it 4400 is really strong resistance this morning so very similar pattern going on in ethereum so we've had one leg higher in a correction you know, when we're bouncing for another leg higher. In Ethereum, we've got a pretty nice target area 
between 132 and 135 if we make a nice equal measured move in this one. So we've got ABC up, ABC back, and we're looking for a final leg of correction higher. Sometimes this will unfold in f five waves instead of three, and um, between 132 and 135 is our resistance. Now 135 is quite an interesting level because I'm going to go back to the daily. That's just the fib the 236 fib of the last swing higher and the daily 20 moving average if we can get above 135 i think that we uh, could see much further upside and potentially sort of 170 area and the uh, daily 50 moving average so 135 quite interesting resistance uh, let's see if we can get through it i i have my doubts i think that we'll more likely find resistance there but i'm open to it one that's not looking so happy this morning that we have been following is Ripple. I'm going to look at Ripple against the dollar. Now, Ripple's another one, like Bitcoin. If we look at Ripple against the dollar, where we're holding underneath a 786 Fib level that was previously support. There was our, there you can see, yesterday we had this 786 Fib. It was also bullish Gartley and a kind of ABC look, wasn't it, from the highs. And we've somehow managed to fall underneath it. So this level uh, becomes resistance. This is ripple dollar prices at Bitfinex we're looking at. 0.364 then becomes the level that we have to get back above if we're going to keep going higher. So far this morning, we've got rejected there. Our, our hourly moving averages have flipped bullish. And if I draw these in as a channel here, you can see this has got a little bit of a bear flag uh, parallel channel look here in Bitcoin dollar and it looks like we've broken down and we're retesting our breakdown level and set for lower and if that's the case then on we'll go back to the daily then the next fib support level on the downside because we've been bouncing off each one is down here at 0.31 in ripple dollar let's take a look at ripple against Bitcoin because you can see we've got the same kind of flag pattern going on uh, we'll do Binance this time, why not? Um, so here's our daily chart of Ripple against Bitcoin. And you can see we're going sideways. We've got that, that candy cane pattern at the daily 20 moving average. And if we take this down to an hourly, we get again, we've got this bear flag look underneath these hourly moving averages here. Let's uh, see what I hear what I mean. So if this breaks down, then we're looking at 8,300 sat for our next support in um, between 8,300 and 8,480 is our support zone next for Ripple Bitcoin on this pullback. And if we measure from the highs and we do a bit of this, you can see that we should back down to this 8,400 level would also be, it was around about an equal measured move uh, for Ripple uh, Bitcoin as well. So that's what we're looking for in Ripple Bitcoin, one more leg lower.